Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we're going to make a holiday tree, a Christmas tree. You can get it to say whatever you want on there. Um, and then kind of that bottom part's optional. Of course, the color all depends on what color you want to 3D print it, but you can get a good, can get a good idea of what it would look like by changing the color on um, your inventor. So it might look something like that. Uh, there are the dimensions. You'll notice I got them like split in half because it's symmetrical. Whatever's on the right is also going to be on the left. Um, and you can see this 0.625 is typical. So each one of these heights is 0.625. Um, the other thing we've got here is the detailed drawing of up here. So you can get an easier view of the dimensions of that circle. Um, and then we've got, of course, a side view of some depth. All right, so let's get started. Hit file and new. And we're going to do this in inches. So I'm going to hit start new sketch and I'm going to start on the XZ plane so that it's easy to draw on um, for 3D printing. So I'm going to start at the origin and go straight up and I'm just going to type in like 0.25 or I'm sorry 2.5 to give it uh, relative uh, some height here. I'm going to just draw a, an angle kind of down to the corner and then bring it back to here. So that doesn't really matter like what angle you're at because we're going to add a dimension here and we are going to reference our directions here. So this top one is 0.5 and then 0.75. And so sometimes it's better to, like I took a screen grab of it on my phone so I can kind of look down in my, in my notes. All right. So this one right here is 0.5. And the height of this from here to here is 0.625. All right, let's grab another line tool. Now, here's the cool part. You can kind of snap to the middle here. As I'm hovering over, you'll see it become a green dot. And again, I'm going to go out here and bring it back to a flat part. We're going to dimension from here to here. I'm gonna make this equal to this. So I'm just gonna click on that. And then we're going to dimension this is 0.75. Do the same thing, grab a line, find the center point here, go out a ways, bring it back. Dimension this to be one inch and the height to equal that right there. And last and certainly not least, finding the center of this, which is a green dot. You'll notice you might see some dotted lines. You want to try to avoid those because what those will do is it'll kind of like lock you in place. So I'm going to go all the way down to there. I'm going to make this 1.25. And then I'm going to get this height, which according to our calculations should be the right size. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to do is finish this sketch and extrude this triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this, or I guess they're not triangles, but they're kind of like triangles, right? The sides of the tree. And I'm gonna make that 0.1. And we're almost done, believe it or not, because yes, it looks like half of it, but what we're gonna do is use this mirror tool right here. Go ahead and click on the whole thing to find the feature and then click on this red arrow or your mirror plane, flip it along that side plane, hit okay, and bam, you got it. So, hit the home screen. One thing you can do is you can flip it around and we can add that little uh, stem part or the, the trunk of the tree right down there by hitting the um, start a new sketch. I can project my geometry. I can grab a rectangle and maybe I wanna do like a two point rectangle where I start here in the middle and I make a rectangle that looks like this. So I wanna make this like 0.2 and I want to make this also 0.2 and I want to trim away this top half and 
I'm going to hit finish. Flip it around. I want to extrude that part right there. I want to take it up. And if you want it flush, you can make it 0.1. Or maybe I don't want it flush. And I want to make it like 0.08 so that you can see there's a little bit of a difference there. Another thing we want to do is add a circle for the top. So I'm going to click on the top and hit create sketch. Let's see. Let me flip that around. I'm going to project geometry right there. I'm going to grab a circle. Sorry about that. Grab a circle, put it kind of like right there or so. Let's make that circle um, 0.1 in size. Whoa, that jumped way down there. So I'm going to grab this top point and this center of the circle, if I can. D click dimension, click here, click center of circle. There we go. And let's make that, I think it's... I remember right, 0.2. I don't remember if I look on my phone correctly. Okay. And then I hit finish sketch. I click extrude. I click that circle. I send it the other way. I want the distance to go through all of it. And then I have that. If you want to add any fillets to so like curve, you can totally do that. Last and certainly not least, if you want to customize it, you click on the top click on your um, top of the tree or add a new sketch, um, project your geometry, and then there's this text, right? So you can click on anywhere on the top and you can type what you want it to say. A couple things I always suggest whenever you're doing this is first of all, make it bold. Make it as big as possible, big and bold hit OK, and then you've got to kind of just edit it, right? So um, let's see, we want to rotate this by clicking it one time, clicking the select, picking a corner, and then you can see we can we can do that. Well, that, that doesn't really help, but all you have to do is like double click it. And if you want to, you can hit enter. And now we can like move it and click it here and click there, grab. So you gotta, now, now I just need to play with like the size, right? And just make sure that it fits on there and just make it as big as possible or as, as you can fit on there. Um, and then finally, all you need to do after that is find something that you like and hit finish sketch and then extrude that and just make it like 0.08 or 0.1 and you've got it on there. Um, do not forget, if you want to color it, you can of course color it or you can just decide what color you want it for your 3D printing. And then finally hit file, save as, make sure you put it in your Google Drive and find your folder and then call it, you know, tree and then of course your initials hit save and then be ready to 3d print hope this was helpful if you have any questions please let me know have a great day